So, in this tutorial I want to show you how to do a automatic calibration in Video Stitch Studio. So for this project I have already imported our source video files, those three videos, and I open up the calibration tab. We select automatic calibration. Um, we choose the white lens type. As you can see, those three are um, circular fish eye lenses. Um, select the right field of view. It should be uh, around 210 for those. And you can then either um, choose specific frames you want to use for your calibration, so that's um, mainly for moving videos. Um, you can select the, the best frames, or you just keep it on automatic, because uh, for this video we don't need to do that, as the video is stationary. You can see um, it's mounted on top of this uh, railing right here. So, there's one thing left to do. Um, that's adjusting the input, uh, the input crop. So you just, oh yeah, that looks good. Let's do the next one. Should be fine. And the last one. If you're happy, you just say apply. If um, you're using a camera where you know all the lenses are in the perfect uh, perfect middle positions, um, you can also say apply this crop to um, all inputs, but as you can see, they differ a lot for me here, so that's why I do them individually. So, apply, and then we just say calibrate. It asks me if I want to continue, even though it's not synchronized. I want to, because um, it's a synchronized rig. Well, this is going to take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. Let's just uh, skip this. And there we have our result. It looks a bit off because um, those videos are rotated like this, and it things this is the correct orientation. Um, I will show you how to correct this in the next video, but that's it for this video. As you can see the stitch looks pretty good. Um we don't have any any yeah obvious lines. Um I'll show you how it looks yeah that's video one that's oh uh, that's video one that's two and that's three and it's stitched pretty well. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more, um, just let me know what you want to know about Video Stitch Studio, and I'll try to make a tutorial about it. Yeah, that's it.